Hey guys, it's a great day and today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Flow connecting OneDrive and Outlook together so that whenever a new email comes in, Flow is going to check if there are any attachments and if there are, it's going to save them all to OneDrive automatically in the background. This can be really useful if what you're doing requires a lot of uh, organization in your emails and if you're receiving a lot of attachments. Um, it's going to be really useful because it's going to save all of those attachments onto one centrally located area And you don't you don't have to do that anymore You don't have to constantly be searching through your emails and looking for the right attachments. So let's jump right into how to do it Okay, so we're starting here on Microsoft flow and let's create well before we create a new flow Let's go ahead and go to our OneDrive. I already prepared a file here so I'm in my OneDrive and I went to my files and I created a new folder called email attachments. Now you can name it whatever you want, but I'm calling it email attachments and it's going to be the area that I save all the attachments that flow is going to take from the email and save them right here. It's going to save them all right here. So I just went ahead and created that folder. Now before we make our flow, we need to connect our uh, Outlook and OneDrive to our Microsoft Flow account. So let's go ahead and go to data and then connections. I already connected my OneDrive and my Outlook to Flow, so you guys are going to have to do that, but you just do it right here in data. You go to data and then connections. So it's going to show up right here. So um, I already have my Outlook and then my OneDrive connected for both of my accounts. So all you have to do to create a new connection is you go here, new connection, and then you add OneDrive, and then you also add Outlook which you can find by just searching. Outlook, there we go. Office 365 Outlook. So you click on that, create, create, and then you just log in and it automatically connects for you. So just make sure you do that before you start the application and we'll be good to go. So once we have our connections in place, let's go ahead and create our flow. Now the process is pretty simple and it's much easier than you might expect. It's going, it's going to be an automated flow. And let's go ahead and name it email attachment to OneDrive. And our trigger is going to be when a new email arrives. So if you don't see this at the top, go ahead and search for it. Um, it's going to be an Outlook connection. So let's click on that and then create. And then flow is going to start the flow for you. So here we are when a new email arrives. Let's go ahead and get started. Now this is going to be pretty simple. Um, when a new email arrives, we want to check the folder inbox inside the folder inbox. Okay. We have to click on show advanced options here. We need to check if there are any attachments and that's going to be yes. And we want to include attachments as well. And for the outlook flow, that's all we need to do. Let's go to our next step. Now we need to check for apply to, go ahead and type in apply, and it's going to be apply to each. Now the reason we're using apply to each is just in case there are more than one attachments. If there's just one attachments, we wouldn't need to do this. But since there may be the possibility of more than one attachment, we want to apply to each attachment. So when a new email arrives, let's apply to each attachment, and let's click on attachment here. And what should we do with each attachment? We should create a file for each attachment. So here we go, create, create file, OneDrive for business. So for each attachment, we want to create a new file. And where do we want to save the file? We want to save it to our OneDrive document that we created called email attachments. Now we created that earlier in the video, so you guys know what that is. What should we name it? We should name it our attachments name. You guys can name it whatever you want, but I recommend attachments name um, and attachments content. This is dynamic information. So whatever your attachments name is and whatever the content is, it's gonna change what it is. So yeah. And actually, that's it. That's all we need to do for it to work. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's click on save, make sure you save it. And let's go back. 
after you save, it's going to give you this message. It's okay. It's, it'll be fine. And let's test it out. So I have a generic Apple picture that I want to send to myself, and I want it to save to OneDrive. So let's go ahead and send myself an email. Let's call it generic Apple. And let's wish myself an enjoyable Apple. Let's attach our Apple onto there. It's called generic Apple. There it is generic apple.jpg. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And after that happens, it should automatically save my document onto OneDrive because it's an attachment. So I'm going to click on send. Now what? Now there's, I'll click on email attachments. Nothing should happen yet. Okay. There's nothing in email attachments right now. So it takes a little bit because, you know, the flow needs to work its thing, do its thing, but it doesn't take as long and it still saves you a lot of time since it happens in the background. Okay, so I just got the email, generic Apple, enjoy. Thank you very much. And this is from my other email account, by the way, so it's not affiliated with my um, admin at intelica.com email. Let's go ahead and check our flow. Let's refresh that. And you should see it in runs right here if it ran correctly or not. Runs, okay, so since I received the email, okay, it hasn't appeared yet. Since I received the email, the flow should run a few moments afterwards. The flow is going to check if the email has any attachments, and if it does, it's going to run the flow, which is save my email attachments to my OneDrive. So let's check if it ran now. It's been about a minute or two. Runs. There's nothing there yet. Okay. Now flow for the first time, when you create a flow for the first time, oh, there it is, generic apple.jpg. What I was going to say is flow for the when it runs for the first time, it takes a little bit longer because it needs to get the system working, but once it does run, here it is, succeeded, status succeeded, that's good. So that's cool, it worked. I sent an email from an external email and since it included attachment, my flow made it so that it automatically saves into my file right here. So whenever I open up my file now, I have my attachment right there. And this will do it for every single email that comes in. So you'll have hundreds of attachments if you get hundreds of attachments that come into your email. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed the content of this video because I'm coming out with more in the future and I think it's going to be really helpful for you guys. If you know someone that might find this video really helpful, I would really appreciate it if you share it with them because I'd love to give that information to them. And if you guys ever need help with anything or you just have a comment or some feedback, um, you can leave that in the comments below or send me an email at admin at intelica.com. I'll see you next time on the next video. Bye.